Hello friends, welcome back to another um, another session of USMLE topics. Today I'm going to be talking about clathrin and how it works inside the cell. So what exactly is clathrin? Clathrin is it's it's little you know little um, little particles inside the cell which helps movement of certain things inside the cell. So what kind of movement does it help in? First of all, it helps in uh, receptor-mediated endocytosis. Okay, It's going to take in these, uh, these particles from outside the cell by, by receptors, uh, by endocytosis, and clathrin pits is going to sit all over those vesicles and kind of, uh, kind of coat, coat the vesicle with clathrin pits, but this is going to be regulated. That regulated process of receptor-mediated endocytosis is achieved by clathrin. So that's function number one. Function number two is regulated secretion. Again, when we're trying to get rid of something from the cell, it's going to coat the entire vesicle with clathrin, and then we're going to get rid of it, and that is also regulated by clathrin. Third, it's going to move um, lysosomal enzymes from the Golgi to the lysosomes. Okay, so it's going to regulate sorting of lysosomal enzymes from the lysosomes, from the trans, from the trans Golgi to the pre-lysosomal compartments. Okay, so this is just a fancy way of saying that it's going to move vesicles from the from the Golgi to the lysosomes. Okay, so that is also achieved by clathrin. So now that we understand what clathrin does, let's talk about what kind of questions you could have in USMLE related to clathrin. Now clathrin, they can say that let's say there is a mutated clathrin in, 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 in the vignette in an experiment. So this usually these kind of questions always comes you know, in an experimental model. There's a mutant clathrin which cannot form a lattice or whatever it is. The point is this clathrin is defected. So they're gonna you know cook up a story and you know say all kinds of things but we cannot be distracted. We have to focus, keep our focus that clath what clathrin does with what we should be knowing about clathrin and we know the functions of clathrin. So then the question will ask what function is going to be inhibited or what function is going to be you know disturbed because of a of a mutant clathrin. So we can just look up and see these are the functions that's going to be inhibited and we try to kind of look through the options to see which one match matches our um, our option. Now, um, one more thing we have to understand is that apart from knowing what clathrin does, it's also very important to know what clathrin is not going to do or things that we can get confused with. So for example, if someone says a certain cell, let's say a pancreatic cell, has pinocytosis of whatever substance, okay? The difference between pinocytosis and, you know, receptor regulated uh, endocytosis is that pinocytosis is not coated. Okay, it's a not coated vesicle that's taking in. So, clathrin does not do pinocytosis. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is this clathrin does not help in movement of vesicles from the ER from the endo endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi, okay? So it does not help help in movement of vesicles from ER to Golgi, okay? So don't get confused. It's only from Golgi to lysosomes, okay? So you can have a substance which is going from the ER to the lysosome, sorry, it's going from the ER to the Golgi from Golgi to lysosome, yes, that can happen. But from the ER to Golgi is not helped by clathrin. Okay, so that is an important distinction to keep in mind. So, what kind of what kind of uh, substance does these kind of movement from the ER to Golgi? They are called COPs. Okay. They're called COPs. They are non-clathrin coated proteins. Okay, that's all re we really have to know that they are COPs. Not much needs to be known, or at least not much has come up in USMLE questions. 
So yeah, that's about it. And I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And these notes are going to be on my blog. So bye for now.